everyone, welcome back to our channel. So Millen's nails have been getting pretty long and one of the most difficult things for me to figure out when I got Milton was how to trim his nails. We decided to go the route of using a Dremel, which is a nail grinder versus clipping for a few reasons, one of which being it's less painful for the dog and it's a bit easier to get done too. Now I opened the Dremel box, read the instructions which said to socialize your dog on it, by introducing them to it basically one step at a time, tapping it to their nail. If they showed any sign of being uncomfortable, you would restart. But that didn't really work for Melvin. It seemed that every step he was very nervous and he wouldn't let me get the Dremel anywhere near his nails. So I thought that we were gonna have to pay to have the vet do them. But then I discovered a little hack for grinding his nails that I'm gonna show you today. So this is the Dremel tool. It looks just like this. It has the little grinder up here that you turn on and off and the battery here that you plug in and out to recharge as you need to. And so once the Dremel is charged, all you do to turn it on is switch it to the on position. There's a high and a low option. Usually we just use the low option for Milton. Sounds like that, just a little grinding sound. And Milton's right here because he already knows what this means. So let's get started. So our secret weapon is a spatula with frozen peanut butter on it. And we're gonna show you how we do it. So I like to put Milton on his back between my legs like this. Helps keep him stable while I do his nails. And the key is the minute this turns on, we give him the peanut butter. So he associates the peanut butter with the drum. So I'm gonna turn it on and peanut butter. As you can see, he doesn't really even notice what's going on. And we turn the drum off and take the peanut butter away. And now we do it again. And as with all dogs, the important thing to hear is to make sure that you don't get there quick, which is the little pink part inside their nails. Milton has white nails, so we can pretty easily see where his quick is, but it's harder on dogs who have dark nails to do it. But if you cut it and it bleeds, they're in a lot of pain and they usually don't want to do this again. So you have to be really careful with that. Now we're gonna do the next nail. All right, and peanut butter. All right, take a break, pause. Also, it's important, you can kind of see, to hold your dog's nail in place while you're doing this so it doesn't actually accidentally slip when you're trembling. All right, now we're gonna do the next nail. You keep a firm, but you know, comfortable grip, don't like, do it too tightly. All right, and now the front paws are done, which are arguably the hardest ones to do, right Milton? He doesn't even know what's happening. He's in like peanut butter nirvana right now. All right, and now we're gonna do the back feet. He has this fur in between his paws, so I gotta be careful not to snag that. Next, uh, next claw. And now Mr. Peanut Butter Face and I are on to the last foot of the Dremel section. We're almost out of peanut butter, so <laughs> running a little bit low here, but we'll make it work. All right, Dremel on, peanut butter activated. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. 
And last nail. And so that's it for how we are able to Dremel Milton's nails. I know not all dogs are the same. Milton just happens to be really obsessed with peanut butter, so this works for him. You could probably use almond butter or something else if you prefer, but we just happen to have a lot of peanut butter on hand. And this whole thing took maybe five minutes over time to do. Now, one thing you could do if your dog is like super nervous and you just want to take it one step at a time, you could go through and just Dremel each nail for the length and then go through and shape it. We kind of did both of them at the same time. So let us know in the comments if you've used this method before or you're going to use it and if it worked for you and your pup. And remember to like and subscribe so that you never miss another upload with Maddie and Millen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.